Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update. It is Thursday, the 21st of June, first day of summer, and we've got something to show you. In, fa in fact, this is the show and tell of all time. This is a state-of-the-art Sony studio cam, and uh, I brought it here today just to say thanks to those of you who have contributed to the JR Church Studio Fund so that we could upgrade this studio. This is a state-of-the-art HD camera that's got more features than I can name or would ever want to. There are people who, who know all about these things and they tell me this, that this is uh, the best camera you can get uh, for our studio application. Have Bob Ulrich in studio with me today and Bob and I are going to uh, talk to you a little bit about the JR Church Studio Fund. It's been a long trip, Bob. Well, it's been a long trip, but we've arrived, Gary. Uh, you're holding one of uh, four cameras, actually. Uh, two of them have arrived here in studio. One is sitting behind me, uh, over my shoulder, mm -hmm. and there are two more on the way next week. Uh, the great part of all this, they're all paid for, you know, which is literally a miracle. And, and I just want to look right into the camera and just say loudly and clearly how much we appreciate the support uh, the generosity beyond human comprehension that we've seen, you know, hasn't just been from the bigger givers. We've had some large gifts, uh, but we've had a lot of people who donated $10, $20. And, you know, that's a lot of money to people today struggling to pay high gas prices and living in this economy. And, you know, for people to give, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have donated to the studio fund, and we want to say thank you. Now, I do want to say one thing. We had one gentleman uh, here just a sh couple short weeks ago who donated $29,000 to the studio fund. Wow. Uh, I'll just never forget the look on Linda's face when I got the news that there was a wire coming into the account. But over and above the $29,000, he wanted to see us finish the project. He donated another $29,000 as a temporary short-term loan so we could get everything ordered and then pay him back when it was convenient. So if you're watching today, and of course I know you are, because you tell me you watch at your breakfast table every morning, we just do want to say thank you publicly and let you know how much we are grateful for that incredible uh, display of generosity. Well, Bob, uh, this is very encouraging, and uh, for several reasons, because we've got some surprises we're going to be telling you about in the next few days. Uh, not going to break them all today, but Prophecy in the News is uh, uh, increasing by leaps and bounds thanks to the, the enthusiasm of our audience, the, their reception to our magazine, our daily updates, our programs. And by the way, here's the latest. This happens to be the July uh, 2012 issue of uh, Prophecy in the News magazine. On the cover, it has a picture of five men, Bob, and these five men, even as we speak, are playing pivotal roles in world history right now. Hassan Nasrallah, uh, Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, uh, Bashar Assad, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and Vladimir Putin, the Russian, who rides the white horse, by the <laughs> way. He loves to be photographed on a white horse. I don't know if there's any biblical significance to that or not. I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we uh, have included uh, these five faces in our July 2012 uh, edition of Prophecy in the News with the title, Are These Five Leaders and Their Policies Destined to Cause the Total Destruction of Damascus? You know, we read in Scripture that Damascus is going to be destroyed, and I'm watching uh, Internet news even as we speak, uh, and the Internet news has to do <clears throat> with the absolute upheaval, Bob, of of Syria. Well, we have top story today. Syria has grounded its fighter bomber fleet because one of its pilots defected to Jordan and the rest were threatening to do so. So Bashar Assad has had to shut down his air force. Uh, another headline, Obama helps Russia back on its feet in the Arab arena. First sentence of this story, uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin is in overdrive to recover Moscow's overriding influence in the Arab world, which it lost to the United States in 1973. So this story goes all the way back to 1973, brings us up to the present, and you remember in 1973 the Russians had a terrible setback in the Middle East. They're making up for lost time now, and they are back as a full military presence. And Bob, I don't have to tell you 
that the Russians are in Bible prophecy. Yeah, they're, they're found in a couple of interesting chapters that we've been talking about recently. I find it just incredibly fascinating, the emails that we're getting here at the ministry you know, through the website and the comments we're getting from people, and they all seem to have the same theme. We're going home soon. I mean, we are watching history in the making. Uh, when Bill Salas was here last week, uh, he said to me, he says, Bob, you know, in 1948, when Israel became a nation, imagine, imagine how people, the people who were in the know when this happened, where all of a sudden, it's really happened. It's really happened. Israel is back in their land. And here we sit, and we've been talking about Psalm 83, Isaiah 17, Ezekiel 38, all of these prophetic chapters that we know are going to happen. And we're watching the chess pieces move around the board now closer and closer and closer. We're right on the brink. And one day we're going to wake up and you're going to be on the studio here one day talking about this bomb that has been unleashed in the Middle East. And when that happens, we know the steps are going to follow quickly. We've got to be close, wouldn't you say? And if uh, the recent conversations I've had with a number of Bible scholars uh, are worth anything at all. There is virtual unanimity on the subject of the rapture of the church. Bob, people are just very excited about the possibility that uh, something will, it will break just uh, momentarily. And, and I've never seen anything like this in the decades that I've studied Bible prophecy. I've never seen all of the pieces come together as they are today. But uh, on that note, we feel uh, more driven than ever to get the word out. And we just thank the Lord that we've been able to improve our studio. Uh, we're going to be able to improve our outreach. And by the way, we could still use your help because we want to put the finishing touches on this studio that JR Church started. And Bob's going to tell you how you can continue to help us in the effort to put the final touches on the studio. Well, all of our equipment has been ordered, you know, thanks to this one gentleman. And we still have the small matter of repaying that $29,000 loan that he's given us with no timetable for repayment, mm -hmm. you know, which is so nice of him as well. But what we've done is we need to raise the last $29,000. We're almost there. Uh, the excitement around here, you should see the two guys uh, who actually run our television department. They were like a kid in the kids in the candy store yesterday when these cameras and equipment were delivered because we're going to be able to shoot something that is really going to look spectacular. Now, if you tune back in tomorrow, we've got a couple of big surprises, and uh, you're going to hear about them on the Friday update. Uh, there's a reason we needed these cameras, and tomorrow we're going to roll out that reason. But getting back to the immediate, uh, our friend, good friend of this ministry, Grant Jeffrey, as many of you know, uh, passed away here you know, a little more than a month ago. And uh, before Grant died, he produced his own prophecy Bible. And this is actually a Bible that I used when I was a teenager, uh, the Marked Reference Bible. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, you know, black bonded leather Bible. You can see the beautiful gold gilded edges, uh, full of commentary, full of maps, huge concordance, full of prophetic commentary, which to me is the most valuable part of this Bible. Uh, as a way of thanking Grant for what he's done here, and as a way for you to help us with the completion of the JR Church TV Studio Fund, we want you to donate $100 as a gift to this ministry. And we want to give you a copy of the Grant Jeffrey Prophecy Study Bible. And what we want to give you as a free bonus when you buy the Bible is a one-year subscription to what I think is the best magazine on Bible prophecy going. Uh, Gary's written about Syria this month. Uh, things in here that you're not going to read anywhere else in the press that you're going to find. So the Bible and a one-year subscription, free subscription of Prophecy and News for one year uh, may be enough to get us over the hump, may be enough to finish the studio fund, not only have everything here, but everything paid for, and that's what we're looking forward to. And by the way, you have the 800 number on your screen right now, and, and so you could call in and, uh, and just uh, tell whoever answers that you would, you would uh, like to contribute to the JR Church Studio Fund, and you'd like to contribute $100. And in return, uh, you're going to receive the Grant Jeffrey Study Bible and uh, the magazine. And I'll tell you what, you'll be helping us along the way. Uh, we are so close to having everything we need to just jump to the next step. Again, thanks in advance for what you're going to do for us. And may the Lord bless you in these wonderful days in which we live. Bob, anything else to say? 
May the Lord bless you in these last days in which we live. Jesus is coming soon. And of course, keep looking up. Yeah.